Hi guys, welcome to the Hands On Tech Silicon Valley uh, design review video. Uh, my name is Jingting and I'm a participant in the group. Uh, this is our group picture with our two coaches on the side and the five of us in the middle. So the goal of our project is to design a system that detects the occurrence of flooding. So it gives warning to people and we can minimize the damage of the flooding and save more people. So this is our system overview where we have a CubeSat in the space and it's going to be constantly taking images of a specific area on Earth and by comparing the images between the normal state of no flooding and the after with flooding occurring, we can know that there's a flooding and we can tell the people that there's a flooding so they can have a heads up on the where is the flooding and dodge it so you can save your life <laughs> so this is the components of our system design where for hardware we have our cubesat and our, the key component of it is a raspberry pi that contains all the program we also have solar panel and battery, which powers up our entire system. And we have MPU and reaction control system, where it controls where the entire tube size is going to go and take pictures. Camera is where the part of the Raspberry Pi that takes pictures. And we also have communication, so we can communicate with the ground station about our data. So for software, we have a central controller with three components, movement, imaging, and communication. So for our movement, we have ADCS, which controls off all of our movement stuff and tells where the CubeSat is going to go and take image at a degree angle so we can make, it, make the result constant. For imaging, we have image management, which organizes all the images we take and uh, sort it and get rid of the data that's not needed, such as duplication. Uh, for uh, shoreline detection, it detects the boundary between the ocean and the land, so we can get rid of the ocean where no flooding is going to occur in the ocean and we can save our storage and save our time. For flood detection, we can uh, detect the occurrence of flood, which is the key part of this entire project, and it tells you if flood occurs or not, so you can have a heads up. For the communication, we have data transfer, which uh, transfers our result and our images from the CubeSat to the ground station. Now I'm going to hand, uh, hand it over to Michael and he's going to go through the details of our system. Hello, I'm Michael and let's talk about our CubeSat software flow diagram. So right off the bat, we have four subsystems. We got our image capture subsystem and then we have our image processing subsystem. Then we got our flooding detection subsystem, and then we have our data transfer subsystem. So when we first start off and then we want to take a picture, we look to see if the picture, we, if the picture we're going to take is ocean. If it is fully ocean, we don't want to take a picture, as that would be kind of useless, right? So and then if it's not ocean, we take a picture, and then we attach some timestamp information so that we know where the CubeSat is at a specific moment. So we put that into our image management database and from there we can take the image out and we can split it into a couple of areas. For each of these areas we're going to be running our water detection model so that we know which pixel is water and which pixel is land. Now we can put that back into our image management database and then we go into flooding detection. So in flood detection we take one image and then a previous image and then we compare the two. If we see that like the amount of water inside the land has increased, then we know it's flooded. So then, when we go over a ground station, we can then transmit that data down to the ground station. And then we, they'll know if it's flooded or not. Here is a beautiful picture of our CubeSat. So for our test environment, we're going to be using colored paper to simulate land. And then we put all of this on a ping pong table so that the blue is just representing the water. So what we also have is a sort of cable car system 
to kind of simulate the orbit uh, in conjunction with the robotic like robotic arm project that we uh, kit that we had. So the robotic uh, the cable car simulates the the latitude that the CubeSat is at, and then we can use the robotic arm's angle to kind of swing over the ping pong table to simulate the longitude. So <clears throat> our system design for our test environment is going to look a little bit different from our idealistic space environments, or what we what we believe our space system would be like. So we have our cable car, our robotic arm, and our CubeSat. These are all controlled by some Raspberry Pis that we interact with. <clears throat> now the cable car has a distance sensor so that we can control a user and a servo, of course. And then our CubeSat will have our typical components of battery, Raspberry Pi, MPU, camera, thermals, that kind of stuff. Our software is not going to look that much different from a space environment. We don't have that specific like altitude determination control system, but we do have our arm, robotic arm like interface and cable car interface. We also have our typical shoreline, detection, flood detection, and also we have our Bluetooth communications. So here's a more detailed list of our hardware systems in our test environment. And then now I'll hand it over to Wesley for our flood detection. <coughs> Um, hi, my name is Wesley, and I'll run you guys through um, our flooding and ocean recognition systems. So, for flooding detection, um, basically we take in an image, and then we'll break it down into multiple pieces to get a better accuracy on the image. So, um, we can see from our two images here, one, we, we, we were using a green plastic square to simulate as flooding. So, we can see in the normal image, it will return a, a wide range of um, land data, while from our flooding image we can see there's a clear difference in bodies of water inside the land. So using, using given this detection, we run it through our flooding detection model, which then will help us return whether the image is flooding or if there's no flooding in it. And then for shoreline recognition, um, it's similar to how we run our flooding system. Basically, it's a trained neural network to cor correctly classify images. And then it takes in an image and splits it between um, width and height areas and classifies each area between two classes, ocean and land. And then um, we mark the location as ocean if all areas are oceans. Um, we can see in our example here, um, how, how this little square, despite being majority ocean, is still considered land because of a tiny piece of island in there. And then we send it through our CubeSat, and then if given the coordinates for it, if it is land, we take a picture. If it's ocean, we don't take a picture. Um, I believe I have an example to show you guys. Yeah, and then there's some more test environment subsystems designed attached to the load. Yeah, so this is our demo for our um, shoreline detection code, which essentially you can see is similar to the flooding detection model, where um, yeah, where get where we split up the images so we can better recognize the land area, which makes it easier for us to detect um where to take pictures or not.